Someone is interested in your daughter, mashallah. Alhamdulillah. Others are struggling to get married. So firstly, thank Allah. Remember this. Look at it that way. Others are struggling to get a decent guy. Others are struggling to get married. But someone is interested in your daughter. But because his family lives across the river, and we live on this side of the river, or we come from a city, and they come from further down south or up north, we say, no, I don't want. Why? Don't you know where they come from? Is that Islam? Come on, where did you come? So now when there is depression in your home, blame yourself. Don't blame Islam. When there is chaos and everyone doesn't talk to you, I would rather the child make a mistake to marry the wrong person than to lose the child's mind. Because today, it is our fault. We blame religion to say, no, Allah has taught us this and that. When we don't understand what we have done, we have just been selective. We choose what suits us because we are worried about our own reputation and prestige. How can my daughter marry this man when he doesn't really have anything? To be honest, your grandfather had nothing. Allahu Akbar. There was a time, my brothers and sisters, when we got our children married, or they, should I say not we, because it, it's hardly happening now. This is what we're trying to inshallah cure by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But they, they got their children married knowing that this man is responsible. He has deen and akhlaq. That's all they looked at. And slowly, 20 years later, they purchased their house. Or they bought their first car after 15 years. And that too was a little mini cooper. Allahu Akbar. I, I thought about it because nowadays Mini Coopers are very expensive. But at that time they were a little bit cheaper. Subhanallah. So, today we have a new type of looking at things where you don't get them married unless and until he's a rich man. So what happens? You go to him. What do you have? What do you own? He says, I just have a job, a decent job. Not good enough. Come back when you own a house. And by that time, there is chaos, confusion. The Prophet ﷺ says, if a proposal comes in your direction and the person happens to be one of a decent deen and decent character, then let him get married. If you don't do that, there will be great chaos, corruption, confusion on earth. This is what we are noticing now, confusion. Confused Muslim, why? Because of something that is quite simple that we've made difficult. Then you have a depressive mode, subhanallah, where because of the way we have chosen to bring up our children, when we face reality of the result of our own choices, we quickly blame Allah and we quickly blame the deen. But you the one who sent your child to that school. You the one who decided to live in that neighborhood. You the one who decided to do this for your child and that for your child in the name of love and whatever else. And now when the result of it has come, your child for example would like to marry a person from the same community or from the school they went to and they were bombarded with people of the opposite sex every day. You are the one who comes and say no and you don't even know what's going on in society. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us ease. May Allah open our doors. Remember something. What differences we may have in terms of where I was born and you were born, they become irrelevant when it comes to the deen and the akhlaq of an individual. You look at that. If they are responsible and if they are upright, no matter how they are living, they will look after your daughter as a gem. There are so many people who are extremely wealthy who have treated their wives like slaves. Or without any form of respect, no respect. They have no trustworthiness within them. Whereas there are others who perhaps would not be able to afford the luxuries of the world, but they treat their spouses with utmost respect. And they are so happy living in a hut. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us happiness of the dunya and the akhirah. This is something we really need to...